So I was first introduced to the Amble line of instruments a few years ago and it was via a TV show called Britain's Rare Guitars. So at the time I was doing um, a little bit of presenting on there and some playing and we'd gone over to check out the showroom and meet John who runs Ambler. And the first thing that struck me about the guitars there was every single one was a work of art. Um, they're all handcrafted and every everyone played just as well as it looked. Um, so fast forward a few months I went back over again um, by myself to check out some more of the new stock models that they come out with and then um, when the question came about doing a model together I was well up for it, there's no hesitation on my part. <laughs> So what we wanted to achieve on this model was kind of like a perfect halfway house between something vintage inspired but also with some more modern kind of playability appointments. Um, so for example the neck is thin but it's not kind of like super um, shredder thin, um, it's just it's just right really. It's same for the body, um, the body is it's a thinnish body, it's, it kind of reminds me of um, like a Telly or a Les Paul um, just with the, the comfort carve on the back. Um, but it's certainly got the a familiar feeling coming from playing strats and tellies and les pauls and classic instruments like that. <laughs> Pickups were a big point of deliberation on this guitar as I knew I wanted P90s on it. Uh, the reason being was, um, first off I love P90s but also at the time we spec'd this model I was recording my solo album um, which I don't think will be out at the time this video comes out but it's an instrumental guitar album and so I was looking for something that, because I don't play with um, that much gain really or not very often, um, so I was looking for something that could carry a melody line with enough kind of clarity and nuance um, for it to come across it in a lyrical fashion. Um, so with those parameters in mind that kind of puts us in single coil territory straight away. But the problem we found was that a lot of the best single coil tones for instrumental guitar have already been taken. Um, so strat wise you've got Jeff Beck, you've got Nick Johnson, Jimi Hendrix, Steve Rayborn. Um, telly wise you've got Brad Paisley, Alan Hines. So it was quite difficult to try and find a voice for the album that hadn't already been taken. Um, which is where the P90s came in as a really good choice because I'm sure they've been used on instrumental guitar albums before but certainly not as much I don't think as some of the other classic single coil tones. But what we found as well was that they cut through the guitar dance mixes really well and they still had the grit we needed, where needed, um, but it also had the capacity to play the melody lines in a lyrical fashion like I mentioned. So the reason we went for the C Modern Confat Cats over the standard uh, Soap Bar P90s was there was a few reasons but a big one for me was that when I was younger um, I was sometimes guilty of taking guitars at face value and if they weren't spiky with humbuckers I wasn't generally all that interested which limits you somewhat in terms of um, what you'll try when it comes to looking for new instruments. Um, so for example I didn't play 335s because I thought they were big and chunky and I didn't play P90s because I thought they were funny looking uh, bars of soap kind of things. So, um, but as soon as I matured enough to actually try new things and try P90s, I was like, this is the tone I've been looking for. Um, with the, It's got the clarity of single coils, but the girth of humbuckers. Um, and I just wish I'd kind of had that epiphany a bit earlier. Um, so I guess the thing with these pickups is that as they've got that kind of modern aesthetic, it might introduce someone um, who wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards a P90. Um, I think if a younger version of me had played this guitar, I'd have played it um, thinking these humbuckers sound awesome 
and then someone say to me actually that's p90 you're playing through and i might have um gone to the team p90 a little bit earlier on um so that that was one of the big reasons for choosing the fat cats over the standard soap bars another one was that they've got slightly less lower end um to my ear anyway which helped a lot to cut through the guitar dance mix of the solo album and the instrumental stuff um, so they're a really good pickup choice for this guitar. <laughs> 